I was with the sheikh, the, the minister of tolerance there. I was sitting next to him. He had me at a meeting. I'm sitting to his right in this big, beautiful round room. And there's all mostly men in the room, three women. And this, this meeting, they, people come in and just meet him every afternoon, wow. three o'clock in the afternoon. Hello, how you doing? They pay respects. Um, he's got me on his right. He's got the minister, the prime minister of uh, Thailand on his left. Mr. 10X and Mr. Thailand. <laughs> and he reaches over, touches me on the knee, and he's like, would you like to fly to Dubai? Uh, we were in Abu Dhabi. He's like, would you like to fly to Dubai with me on my helicopter? I said, yes, sir, I would. Now, I don't know if that includes Elena or not. So I'm hitting these fixed ideas. I'm like, I wonder if that means yeah, my right. wife is invited. So, so the point of this story is like, no matter where you're at in life, if you're still learning and you're still in putting yourself in uncomfortable or new environments, mm -hmm. you're going to be a little, I don't know what the cultures are. You know, when I was with the policeman and they were investigating me in Dubai, I crossed my legs like this. The guy walked in and says, please, please sit proper. I'm like, yeah, okay, man. What, what, what's the deal here? I ran into a like that very, that there in in, in the Middle East, dude. To see the bottom of a soul is so disrespectful. Really, but this is also disrespectful. This is considered to be aggressive. My leg was shaking when you started. My foot was shaking when you yeah, said yeah. the bottom of the soul. This, this, this is like because I'm not showing the. I knew about the soul thing. Don't show the soul. But this is considered aggressive by the police. Gotcha. And and so I'm like, yeah, man. But but you see, all these things are like. I think, I think people think, oh, my God, Grant's got it made. You know, he's successful now. Everywhere he goes, he's, he can talk to 35,000 people. I'm still uncomfortable in situations. I still have fixed, limited beliefs and, 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 and things that trap me, right? So, you know, we're doing, we're doing. And do you prefer to put yourself in those situations? Well, you well, be in yeah, those I have to. I, ha I have to agree. I have to agree to put myself in those so that I feel like I'm, I'm expanding, though, like, like I'm living life, like. You can't be a beast or a savage if you're not in the jungle. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't. I know guys that think they're beast and they're on their sofa. Bro, you're in your sofa. You're watching. <laughs> you're watching beast on TV. You're not a beast. So you got it to be a be to be a true savage, like a real living uh, in a respectful, honorable way. I say that. Mm -hmm. I say that like like I respect people that are savages and, and um, they get things done. That they're like, hey man, give me the ball again, right? Uh, the the you gotta cleaner, be as uh, was it Tim Grover would say. Well, but the cleaner, the cleaner, yeah, yeah. You got to be in the game to be a cleaner. You can't, you can't be on a couch. You can't be behind a book. You got to be in environments that are not comfortable. Not, oh, you're on stage for the sixty seventh time doing the same presentation. That's not a cleaner. Mm -hmm. That's a guy on on auto. You're just doing the same thing you did over and over again.